Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and I am super happy to continue on some One Piece. Yeah, we're uh, back for episode 971, I think, which is uh, the Akazaya 9 raid, I think. I don't remember the actual title, but it should be Odin trying to go fight Kaido. That's pretty much what I'm expecting this episode, and then probably uh, not next episode, but the episode after, I'm guessing, is uh, the... The rough part, but we're going to have to see. I am watching this one first today because I do think I'll enjoy this episode more than I did last week. And then I'll watch Tokyo Revengers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, special shout out once again to our patrons, Mad Stringer, Mike Waters. You guys make the dream work. You row the boat and you set the anchor. I don't know if those are good things, actually. But, you know, you guys really help out and I appreciate it. Uh, special shout out to the original content creator, Echira Oda, the goat of the god. Remember to support him. Because he makes some great stuff, and if we don't support it, who knows if One Piece will ever finish? He'll keep doing it! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, man, it's one of those ones that's like, will it ever finish? Do I even want it to ever finish? <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. I saw, like, accidentally when I was skipping through the credits, there is already a part in here that uh, ah! is adding on to whatever. Yeah, here. This part. This is something you don't see in the, in the manga. We're gonna see y'all. Uh, look at how. Man, Moria is actually a really big dude. It, this is wild, though, that he can clash even with Kaido even back then. Ah, damn. Whoa. There's still so happy. <laughs> We've seen his naked dance in the old days. <laughs> 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 Laughing <laughs> ハダカオドリニョ。あ、コンブ大切。光月家も地に落ちたな。あそこにのもものすけ様もぶつけるしず。味の決め手は出しにいるよ。ハダカオドリニョ。ハダカオドリニョ。ハダカオドリニョ。
ババアも叫んですがりついてきたらしいぞ撃ち殺したがな Yeah, they added that They really glossed over those ones. That dude deserved everything he got. <laughs> which would have been an issue as long as Kaido was actually stronger than Odin, which. Anyway, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but he ain't. <laughs> Cause that ain't a spoiler. We already know K Odin was pacing up Kaido. Kazoku and Kashin's Okata's predictions. This Bad choice. Dumb choice. I'll, I'll be 100% about that up front. This is the worst choice Odin's ever made, was to not just go to full war with Orochi and the, sh the Shogunate. It caused the people of Curry more suffering. Uh, sorry, not just Curry, the whole land of Wano. So, had they just gone to war and, and pushed through, instead they gave the enemy five years to plan which led to basically them getting out ousted for those who don't Kaido Utsuzo so Imagine he'd done that five years ago Think about it Or man, had you even waited to help Moria attack when Moria showed up? Man I had forgotten that that happens after that but it, it makes sense Odin had literally body all these guys by himself. Probably wouldn't even take that long. The numbers. Once again, this isn't even a threat to him. <laughs> the Akazaya 9, maybe, but. Said it just wouldn't matter to Odin. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. How did they know that we were coming? I don't remember him telling them this. あたらしく立った帰国誰も傷つかねえ方法を選んだ。入ゲートやろうじゃは。よっ。もうすげえ、アンフォーチュネイトです。アンフォーチュネイトです。アンフォーチュネイトです。アンフォーチュネイトです。アンフォーチュネイト
They turned into flower petals. They're done. And once again, uh, most of Kaido's troops are fodder. Fodder at best. I get, uh, like, his top tiers get a little better, like when you get to Sheep's Head and up. Well, let's be honest, they're, they haven't shown themselves to be much more than fodder, the numbers and shit. Blade Blasts, bro. What the fuck are they doing? This episode's on drugs, dog. Oh, and it turned back to blood. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I take back. This episode's already fired from this last five minutes. <laughs> And we know how that goes. Oh man, that last five minutes, not even a little less than five minutes from 20 to 23 minutes made up for the whole rest of the episode. <laughs> Holy shit. That, that scene where it turns back from flowers to blood. Oh my God. Gone, 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 bro. That, this is fucking cool. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's fucking dope. I literally don't give a fuck what anybody says. You could show me a fucking statistical chart proving that it wasn't dope and I'd still say fuck off. <laughs> Man, that was really good. Ah, that's what we didn't get in the manga was to see a lot of the actual battle. And that's why, like I said, the anime does add things that are often better. Like the thing with Hyogoro's wife is honestly a, a little bit. It wasn't necessary, but it was interesting. I think it added a dynamic. I do think they needed to make that a little longer lasting, like have had her show up before this particular episode. I don't know. For me personally, it's very hard. It's it's tough for a show to make me care enough about a character in one episode to feel bad if they die. Right? That's just me. I, familiarity breeds comfort. Right? <laughs> you know, but that's not actually what the trick is. <laughs> But, um, I don't know. That's, that's for me a little bit. One of the only notes really for this, I will say like, once again, this whole thing is basically necessary, although it is a bit stretched out, but it is necessary in order to like tell the story, right? It's one of those setup pieces where it's a little slower and then you get to the fighting at the end and you've had that setup for the last couple episodes to it. And so it's a little stronger. Uh, I will say, like I said, the extra, oh, excuse me, adding of the wife. And then playing it into his reasons for being mad later were cool, but he never really needed that. Like, he had enough reasons to be mad at Orochi and shit without that, just from breaking the promise and a bunch of other stuff. But, I mean, it's all relative. I really enjoyed it, though, guys. I really enjoyed it. If you want to talk with me more about it and, like, the, how great, really, even though the actual quality of the animation wasn't so high, like, if you look at the lining and the coloring and stuff, the... It looks awesome right like even though it's not very technically perfected or anything it looks really good to me and i think that's it looks different than most anything one piece has ever done right like that was so unique even in the terms of the one piece stuff having people disappear into the flowers the colorings and like showing them off you really show you really saw a little love for the akazaya 9 that you don't get as much in the manga i feel and that's one of the things i think the anime is actually helping out with as it goes on, as it fills in some of those gaps that I felt like Wano had. I felt like Wano, despite being really good, is rushed. The The whole manga chapter, I, I felt like this whole manga chapter in Wano was rushed. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to finish sooner, or maybe I'm just fucking crazy, but 
it is such a big and expansive part of the world that a lot of stuff gets glossed over, pushed real quick through fights. Like, you could tell Wano's moving a mile a minute compared to the other uh, arcs. It just is. Like, I could go frame, maybe not the anime, but the manga does. I gotta go back and read. I'm like 10 chapters behind now. How crazy is that? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to our patrons, Mike Waters and Mad Stringer. You guys make the world go around. And uh, at least for me. So I appreciate you greatly. Uh, we will be getting you your patron stuff soon here in a couple days for um, next month. Our stickers are late again. I can't damn it. But we're still getting them, I promise. Uh, with that said, thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you next time on Reactions with an X, One Piece. We're going to finally see the conclusion-ish, maybe, kind of, to Kaido and Odin. Probably another two or three episodes, actually, but we'll see. Later, guys. If you enjoyed watching and want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.